Hello, I'm Jill Smith, Aussie author. Uh, on YouTube, it's Jill Writes Book Reviews. Uh, I'm reading today A Most Magical Girl, or part of my review, um, so that you can get a taste of what it is. You can look at the whole review on Goodreads or on my blog, and I do have them on my uh, pa uh, uh, tab, my tab for uh, children's writing or children's reviews. So Annabelle Gray has been brought up in a privileged home with an elegant mother and Miss Finch's little blue book, 1855, to guide her. With such advice as a young lady does not yawn or sigh but listens attentively to any lesson, a wise anecdote uh, or a an wise anecdote that the elder might offer. This may not be helpful when meeting Miss Henrietta Vine her great aunt for the first time, especially when her aunt tells her that she is a witch and she must learn magic. When, Anna, when Mr. Angel arrives at the magic shop, he gives Annabelle a message to pass on to the, her great aunts. Then she meets Aunt Estella and is told that she is a most magical girl. Annabelle must travel to under London to save the good magic of the world. Miss Henrietta is not as sure as her sister that Annabelle is a ma most magical girl. The threat is close as Mr. Angel has already brought a dark fog down over the city and is raising shadowlings to do his bidding. Now I'm not gonna read the whole review, I'll just skip towards the end because it's such a good book. I wrote quite a long review and I gave it five stars, which I hardly ever do in the Goodreads, but I happen to love this writing. I, I love the way the ending tied up the loose ends and left a smile in your mind and heart. I think this book gives children hope and they have, if they have self-doubts, self when they think themselves strong enough to fight for what they must, the message here is be good, be brave. This whole book is delightfully written. Every word conjures up images of conflict and insecurities. I love this book. It's a keeper. I gave it five stars and good roots and make, it's a make you happy, keep it in your heart, keeper book. I thought the first, at first that it was the dark book and uh, may not be suitable for young adults. However, knowing some start out very young and to read and are emotionally ready, I thought maybe that's not true. I changed my mind and basically be good, be brave, treasure it. A most magical girl, Karen Foxley. Look it up on my blog, look it up on Goodreads and enjoy every minute. It's a fantastic book. Bye. Thanks for, thanks for listening. Have a great day.